friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be making some magical cookies. I went ahead and I've already baked the cookies and got everything ready so that way we can just go ahead and start decorating them. But let's go ahead and get into the magic. Like I said, we're going to be making some magical cookies today. I've went ahead and I've baked all of my cookies. Now, I just used the prepared cookie dough. This is the exact one that I used. I got this at Walmart, I believe, and I ended up only using one and it made plenty of cookies, so I used that. And then I got these cookie cutters off of Amazon. I'll link them down below for you guys if you're interested in making some cookies, but they came and they were under like $15. So those are a perfect matching to the magical world. And then I'm going to be using cookie icing. Now I went ahead and got all of the colors that I needed. The only color that they did not have was brown. So I ended up making brown, but I only ended up making one hat, I believe purposely because I didn't have enough brown for like multiple, but I went ahead oop, and just went with this and you can obviously make your frosting or just buy like I did. So now I'm going to start decorating and let's just be honest very quickly. I'm not about perfect. We're just going to do this for fun and however they turn out is however they turn out. So I'm going to start with the lightning bolt first and that way we'll just start out with something a little less detailed and smaller. So let's go ahead and do this thing. thought that this would just be a fun little video to make some cookies and bake with you guys. I don't know how they're going to turn out. I'm not very artistic, but we will see. turning out not too bad I will say the decorating icing is a little bit easier than the cookie icing but that's okay I did a gown but now I'm going to let that dry because the black is still wet so we'll let that dry but now I think next up I will do a house tie so I'm gonna take a little house tie and fill it in it one on the first tip and then I did cut the black one on the bigger tip and it's easier to do the outline with a skinnier tip but it's easier to fill in with a wider tip so I think it's just preference on what you like and how steady your hand is my hand is not too steady but that is a-okay I think I'm gonna cut it down to the second one just to make it a tad bit easier to fill in this cookie but we'll see how these turn out in the end result I'm not too sure if they'll look quite as I planned but it's for the fun of it <laughs> definitely a lot easier because it's not as big so I'm gonna let that one dry and then once it's dry I will put some uh, yellow icing to act as if it's gold for Gryffindor but you could obviously do whatever your house colors are to match your house I'm gonna attempt to do the sorting hat now so we'll see how this goes like I said I did end up making the brown I used green and red cookie frosting and this was what it came out to. So it's a little lighter than the sorting hat, but that's okay. It will work. I don't really know if I'm gonna need that. Much. 
here is the sorting hat. He didn't turn out too, too bad. I don't really know if I'll be able to make a face on it, but once that cookie frosting dries, it doesn't seem like it takes too, too long from what I'm seeing from these other ones. So we'll see how long it takes and then I can go from there. But the last cookie to decorate is the owl. It's a little headwig. So I'm gonna go ahead and I did get white. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the end of that one and fill her in. And that way she can start drying. And then I'll go back and add some details to all of them. is all filled in so now I think that they just need a few more minutes to dry yeah just a few more minutes to dry and then I will go in and add some details to the robe the tie and headwig so let those dry for a few minutes and I'll be back so now that they're all dry I checked them and they appear to be dry so I'm gonna take this yellow and I'm gonna do the house tie I'm gonna just add some stripes to make it look like the tie from the movie and as long as it looks somewhat like it I couldn't get gold frosting obviously pre-made so this will just do because it's close enough to gold. It works. The decorating icing, the tip's a little bit too wide, but that's all right. And I'm just taking them diagonally across the house tie and kind of taking my finger across to kind of smooth it out just a tad in any spot that it needs it. Not too bad. And there is a Gryffindor house tie. So now, I think the cookie frosting got a little bit too thick for this one, but that's okay. I was gonna try to make this look a little bit like a Gryffindor robe. I think the tip of the um, yellow is going to be a little too big, so I'll just kind of take and fill it in with red, I suppose. And I can do white for some little strings. robe. The black is a little messy, but that's okay. So now, little headway. I was going to try to add some feet and some eyes to her. So let's see what we can do. should have left them on the they have different indents and I should have left it on the one that's a little bit smaller but that's okay Hedwig's eyes got to dry and then I'll go back in and add a little bit of yellow but they didn't turn out too bad but I would definitely say that I am not up for any type of cookie decorating challenge anytime soon <laughs> but I will show you guys them all once I add the yellow to Hedwig's eyes. So now that Hedwig's eyes are dry, I'm going to take, and I think it's going to be easier if I just use the tip of something to add some yellow. So I'm going to add in some yellow to her eyes. 
like this because I think I'll have more control over where it goes rather than using the tip of the other one. And there you have it. I've started icing some other ones that I'll work on after, but I thought I would make one of each with you guys and this is how they turned out. So I will flip the camera around and give you guys a little peek and that way you can see them all. So here is how they all turned out. Definitely not your next professional cookie maker, but not too bad. And I think it would be a lot easier if you left the tip of this a little bit skinnier so you could have a little bit more control as you're moving it around the cookie. But as I said, just thought it would be fun and I thought like that this one turned out best. And this one's not too bad either, but the frosting's just a little too thick. But there you have it. Well, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. They didn't turn out too, too bad, but it was definitely fun. Now I have to go finish icing one, two, three, four, five more cookies, and maybe I'll eat one if they're good, but we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. That way you know when I upload my next video. And join my magical friends. I will link the cookie cutters down below and this up at my local Walmart and it worked. So see you in my next video. Bye.